more legal woes? Or did he? Let's talk about it. Greetings and welcome back. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Thank you to one and to all who may catch this and the replay comments are welcome. Now, the world is buzzing about the man you see on the thumbnail and the photo in front of you, Sean Diddy Combs, also known as Puff Daddy, Puffy, and the latest love. And the world is buzzing over properties raided by Homeland Security Investigators. Now, before I go forward in usual fashion, let me present my Fair Use Act Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, which states allowance is made for fair use of copyrighted material for purposes of commentary, criticism, news reporting, research, education, teaching and or scholarship. It provides for the legal non-licensed citation and or incorporation of copyrighted material by others, which might be infringing under other circumstances and also, the viewer discretion disclaimer. The following broadcast contains mature themes and situations intended for adults. Viewer discretion is advised. And one more I would like to verbally present to you is this may be a trigger warning to others. So now that the formalities have been satisfied, let us continue with this breaking news, which many people have already covered. However, I'm just going to add a little. Now many, as you know, have already heard that the music mogul, Sean Diddy Combs, properties have been raided by the Federales, or HSI, Homeland Security Investigators. There are many who are saying that Miami homes were raided by federal agents, all of them are tied in together. So basically, in short, Combs, Los Angeles, and Miami homes were raided by federal agents on Monday, according to authorities. 
And again, I will implore each and every one of you to conduct your own thorough, meticulous research. Even though there is a plethora of information, videos, perspectives already surfacing on the internet. Be prudent and responsible when reporting and citing sources. So the individual in question is Sean Combs. Did you see here, here, and also here. And that is his son beside him. I'm going to show a few clips and a short briefing of a news story. There he is. is all catching hell in 2024. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. All lies will be exposed. Were led away, potentially in custody. Don't know who these individuals are, if they're related to Diddy in any way, but you can see them, a dramatic video from our Sky Fox team there in Los Angeles as we continue to cover this. And our Fox 11 team is there on the ground right now. Okay, next, I'm going to present a quick video. Again, this is fair use. No, usually, and I can speak on this. Definitely can speak on this and attest to the validity. Usually, when there are search warrants and working in the capacity that I did, because I, at one time, was with the Home Department of Homeland Security, it is imperative that the perimeter number one is secured and the first team enters the property and or compound to ensure the safety of the other teams that will enter. Other teams to include evidence personnel and that is something that I did. 
And keep in mind, human error is often a concern. And you have to rely heavily on your partners and those from other agencies that they are cognizant and truly on the job. There was a particular case at the VA, small property, very small property, a lot of clutter. I, I would like to say that these individuals were hoarders. After the property was deemed secured, we had to go in, place our numbers, and begin to collect evidence. A crucial area was missed. That was the linen closet, which did not have a door, and it was in the middle of a hallway. And I like to pride myself on being very well versed at what I do. I noticed something dark peeping out of the folded towels. What was peeping out was the outside of a weapon. Had one of the individuals decided to say they needed to use the restroom, that could have turned left very quickly. So it is imperative that, again, the perimeters are secured and that every nook and cranny is checked before other members of the teams enter. Keep in mind, Sean J. Coombs and his attorneys, as you just heard, have denied at least at this juncture any wrongdoing, denied the allegations thus far. And as of this report, Sean Combs has not been arrested. I repeat, at the time of this report, Sean Combs has not been arrested. It has been alleged that his plane, his private jet, may have been, and I must say may, to be prudent and responsible, found outside of the United States. Again, conduct your own independent research for the validity of that assertion. Now, I've spoken on many cases in the past. 
that it takes time, months, and preparation. And I question as well, what was the main force behind what may be considered as PC or probable cause that predicated this warranted search? Was it information extrapolated from several civil lawsuits filed, especially the 75 page, I believe, civil suit filed by Lil Rod that came out several weeks prior where the allegations were scathing and extremely damaging. Again, at this time, to my knowledge, Sean Combs has not been charged with any crime. And as we know, innocent until proven guilty is the bar we are supposed to look at. 